Greetings YouTube, it's JC Bad Edit Pro with another video about audio and today we're going to talk about this really cool machine here. This is a Sony MX-DD3 CD player and mini disc recorder combination. I bought it about 10 years ago to do a project where I was putting together a music library for a radio station that I was programming and we were intending to store the music on mini discs. And after that, this became my main CD player for a long, long, long time. I used to have uh, several mini disc players. Uh, now I'm only down to two. This one and a little tiny portable, which is uh, still downstairs packed away. If you're not familiar with mini discs, here's what they look like. It is a little disc that is in its own little protective case. It has a slider. So when you put it in the machine, it opens that up to get access to the disc. This keeps you from uh, getting fingerprints or dirt on the disc. They're very tough, and uh, they uh, seem to last a long, long time. They are recordable, or at least this uh, version of a mini disc is. I'll show you a pre-recorded one in just a few moments. And uh, they don't work like CDRs. It's not where the laser um, exposes a photographic layer to write the data. What these do is, this is a, a magnetic optical disc which means that, yes, there is a layer which comes up and hits this side of the disc, but the only thing that the laser does is heat the disc to 400 degrees in the little spot um, where it's hitting. On the other side of the disc, a magnetic head swings down and actually writes the data uh, to the CD or to the mini disc by um, magnetizing this layer of uh, magnetic material that's in the disc. Once the laser in the head moves on, the disc cools, and that becomes a permanent record of uh, what was uh, recorded and can be read with a laser because the magnetic material, basically it's like an LCD screen, and it freezes the little particles uh, to, uh, in, in place to either reflect light or absorb it, uh, and that's how it uh, writes the data. So it's very cool. You can look that up online to learn more about it. So uh, let's get into the machine. First of all, I'll show you the operation of the mini disc. This is a pre-recorded mini disc, which are rare as hen's teeth. I bought uh, just a few of them just to have them. They come in a case that sort of looks like a cassette case. I don't think it's going to stay up there. Yeah, it will. And uh, this is what a pre-recorded mini disc looks like. You get the album cover on the front, and as you can see, you have the same little sliding door, but no top access because you don't need it. What's in here is exactly like a pressed CD, but it's smaller, and the machine reads it exactly like it reads a compact disc. And as you can see, it's really cool. They put the track listings on the back of the disc here. So you put this in the machine. And it's hard to do. There it goes. Now it's going to address it. It says reading TOC. If you hit this display button, you can either display the information for the CD or uh, the mini disc machines. Let's go over here, and it says that this is Cindy Lauper's She's So Unusual album. And come over here and hit play, and we'll get some audio going out of the thing. That's how a uh, pre-recorded mini-disc works, and uh, they are kind of hard to find, um, but the quality is pretty much exactly what you would expect from a compact disc. There is no difference in quality, and uh, all, uh, because there's so many layers of error correction with mini-disc, uh, I think it's actually a little bit more reliable, to tell you the truth. Um, mini-disc system gets the same amount of uh, time on a CD or on a mini disc as a CD by using a compression system called A Track, uh, which is uh, sort of like MP3 or MP2, but it is uh, almost undetectable and uh, you cannot hear any uh, audio loss. If you dub from one mini disc to another and go down about three or four generations, uh, you can. So let's go on and get a CD and put it in here so I can show you the recording capabilities of this machine. Now, I don't have an external audio source hooked up to this machine, so I can't record from, like, let's say, play back a tape and record onto it, but I can give you a quick demonstration. Now, it's um, set up to read the mini disc, and it's telling me that this is a blank disc. To record a CD over to mini disc, it's just about as simple as it could possibly be. You come over here, and you hit the dubbing button, either normal or high, and you see it's going to set itself up. 
and we're going to hit play over here. You can hit play on either the CD or the mini disc to start this process, and here we go. So we recorded that. Now, if of course I let it go, it would have recorded the whole CD over to the uh, mini disc. It takes the track information, the CD text information over with it if it happens to be on the CD. That's all recorded and moves over to the mini disc. So let's play back our little track that we just recorded. As you can see, it took the data with it. So there you get an idea of how the machine uh, actually dubs. And of course you can hook audio into the uh, machine from uh, outside, either digital or analog, and record that way. Now if I wanted to add a track to this disc, that's not a problem at all. I just reach up here and hit record. And as you can see, it's, it's telling me that uh, it wants to overwrite that track. I don't want to do that. I had the machine paused. That's why it did that. If I come over here and say that, okay. So it's ready to record. All I would have to do is feed some audio to it, set the levels, and uh, then we'd be good to go. This machine's in really good shape except for this switch right here. This was a flaw in the um, Sony design where it was these b switches, which you have to use to access all the menus and write things on the CD, and they go bad. But fortunately, you can do everything with the remote, so we're good to go. So now if I wanted to keep that recording and I thought, okay, that's great, to write the TOC to the mini disc, I just eject it. TOC writing. And now there you go. The mini disc is recorded, ready for playback. Now, what's really groovy about mini disc is that you can erase and edit and do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. So if I come up here and I go to edit menu, the first thing that comes up is all erase because it's the last thing I used. And we now have a blank mini disc. Another interesting thing about the mini disk system is the fact that you can go to the menu here and um, I'm going to fight this little knob. See where it says setup? Okay. Uh, setup menu and it's already there because I already switched this. I can have this machine record in mono and double the time on the disk whereas a, uh, a, a CD runs 80 minutes. I can double that and uh, do it in mono. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of radio air checks and uh, recordings of radio stations and jingle packages and things like that that are archived on many disc and uh, that's how I did it and I can get a whole lot of time I think it's like 159 or something whatever two times eight is so it'd be yeah you get a hundred hundred and fifty nine minutes on one CD because um, it's just short of 80 minutes so uh, that's how you can record onto Minidisc, and it's got very aggressive editing features. Anything that you can do with an open reel tape recorder editing-wise, you can do with a Minidisc. You can do pitch, you can do uh, everything under the sun. Um, and these machines made their way into a lot of radio stations because of that fact that you could uh, edit just like an open reel and the audio quality was just as good. So if you want to get into that, you can look it up online. You can do splicing and editing. You can divide tracks. You can move tracks around. You can delete. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. So if I come down here and hit this display button, I'm either looking at the CD over there or I'm looking at the mini disc here. And we'll play a little bit of this disc. This is a disc that uh, has a bunch of goofy songs on it. I went everybody's head about the bird. And the audio quality is, is stunningly, uh, it's exactly the same as a CD. And uh, with the uh, text on these discs, it was kind of difficult to get it in. You had to um, use this. That's, what, that's why I blew out this switch, was writing text to uh, discs, because you had to select it sort of like if you were texting on a phone. But uh, Sony did come out with one of these machines that had a, a keyboard attachment. There was a plug for a PS2 keyboard, and that was really nice because uh, if you were doing a lot of work where you wanted to uh, write titles to the tracks and to the discs and edit things, uh, you could use the keyboard. And also all of the recorder functions were shortcut keys. Um, that was a great machine. wasn't mine. I used it at a... Um, 
radio station, and I would love to have had one of those. But anyhow, I've got about 500 of these mini discs lying around, and I figured I needed to pull this out and uh, check it out, make sure it was working. This is a Sony MX DD3 CD player mini disc recorder combination, and I hope you enjoyed checking it out with me. Thanks for watching.